Oh, wow. Have you ever seen a pot this big in your life? It's bigger than a swimming pool. Welcome to Amritsar, home of the largest Sikh temple in the world. Look at this, just take a moment. Maybe a hundred people making chapati by hand. On an average day, over 100,000 people are fed here and over 150,000 during holidays. What is a place almost completely run with the help of volunteers and donations? Unlimited food for visitors 24 hours a day. Welcome to the Golden Temple here in Amritsar. I was Simran. All that you see today was started with about 20 rupees and a few volunteers. And it still manages to be one of the cleanest, most well-organized places I've ever been. Today, we're getting a close-up look at the miracle that is Amritsar's Golden Temple. All those who enter the temple must wear a head covering. It can be as simple as a handkerchief or a four meter long turban. Basically, Sikh represents this color because it's an orange color. It represents the color of Sikh community. Put it in your mouth and put, put <laughs> very, very hard down off your teeth. That feels sturdy. I like it. Sikh men must wear a head covering when in public, but the color and the length are up to the individual. Before entering the temple, we check in our shoes. Then, before entering, we must wash our hands and then our feet. <laughs> The area inside the temple is massive, built around a holy pond. People worship here, collect water to take home, and some completely submerge themselves. People are coming here and take a dip in a holy bath. And they feel that the Almighty's of God are blessing us and they are not sick, they are well. Now we're headed to the kitchen. I mean, look at all these dishes. There's already thousands of bowls. All volunteers here. This is literally a uh, hundred volunteers here. They're peeling some garlic right here as all these people work together to make this meal happen. Oh my Lord. We have just entered the kitchen. So if you look to your left here, you can see a ton of people eating inside. And on this side, just a huge vat of probably lentils. Immediately what I see, all this wood right here on this side here. They're stoking the flame, they have embers going, and, and these giant, it's a giant pot. Underneath, they have the fire for whatever's cooking inside, but this is so huge. And I've never seen cooking vessels this big. They have a faucet turned on, and even that would probably take an hour to fill this whole thing. It's bigger than a swimming pool. They cook daily rice pudding in this bowl. 2600 kg. Huge pot right here. It's uh, called dal in Punjabi language. Dal means pulses. Gram pulse and black pulse are cooking together. Look at this. It's beautiful. So there good. is a garlic uh, and coriander, chili. How long does it take to cook this from beginning yeah, to end? Three, three hours. hours. They're cleaning a pot that's already done cooking. Right now we're headed to where they make the chapati by hand. Maybe we can help them out a little bit. Volunteer, look at this. Maybe a hundred people all coming here to help together. Making chapati by hand so that there's enough food for the people who come here to eat. Do this, first of all. Oh yeah, please Make walk it me through it. So I want to ask a little bit more about people of the Sikh faith. I understand that there are certain things that a Sikh person must wear. One of them is a turban. We have to wear a kanga. It's a wooden comb. Another thing we have to wear kada. This bangle is called kada. Look at there. It's called kirpan. It's for the safety purpose. Yes, it's a perfect. But oh God, thank God. You just have to roll more. After all that preparation, we've got a whole cooking station here. It's finally cooked very, very fast because look at the heat is very, uh, very high. I mean, you wonder like, how can they make so much food in one day? But everything is so smooth. After cooking, the bread is slathered with ghee to keep it from drying out. Then the thousands of chapatis are transferred to the dining hall. The real miracle of this place isn't the unfathomable amounts of food they're producing each day. So we are in front of free kitchen, like called the Langar Hall, where all people are coming and sit together. It's the principles upheld within these walls. There is no such kind of partiality like you are a Hindu, you are a Sikh, you are a Muslim. There is nothing. You all are a human beings. Mm. There is no any partiality. No matter your religion, income, gender, nationality, 
As long as you are a human with a beating heart, you may come here, sit shoulder to shoulder with others, and enjoy this meal at no cost. What is this one? It's a kidney bean. In our language, it's called rajma. And then another kind of lentil. Vegetable. It's a rice pudding. They have a machine here yeah. to fill up the water. There's so much food. Yeah. Is there any limit to what you can eat? No, no limit. It's depend on how much hungry you are. You got the chapati here? Yeah. And dal. Oh, that looks great. Perfect. So good. Savory, delicious. And the roti is so perfect. Mmm. I'm so there blown is, away right now. Yes, no words. It just, it's so delicious. There's such like a beautiful sense of community yes, in here. Yes, Look at around. All are sitting together. There is no any partiality. That's called the Sikh religion. I can tell you, we need more of this in the world. Look at all these people here to help. Army of volunteers collecting trays so rapidly it creates a thunderous roar. Tons of men and women sending trays down six consecutive washing stations brought back to the entrance, ready to serve another meal. Seeing how all this food comes together to feed thousands and thousands of people every day.